You gotta suspension. pull the spring yeah. completely out. What about the shocks? Probably gotta undo the shocks to get it to go lower. Bracket will be reinstalled. Drop the rear suspension down far enough to remove the coil spring. Once the springs are removed, pull the lower plastic jazz yeah. pumper strike plate off the spring. Yeah, this one down here. Pull sideways, joist bouncer twist and remove the bouncer jumper from the upper. <laughs> okay, so that's gotta come out. Yeah, the bump you stop. Drill a hole. Through the something. Through the spring pocket. I think through the bumper strike plate. Yeah, through the bottom. Yeah. Okay. So then we gotta pull that out and drill it. Oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why is this upside down? Is this upside down? Yeah. Oh okay. The so bottom. The the bottom that comes out. You drill a hole through the bottom. Oh the bottom of this. Upper spring seat's gotta have a hole too. And large existing hole. Yeah. All right. hole here. Yeah, that's where the airline comes so out the top. To drop this thing. Well, it's definitely more involved than they let on, right? Yeah. <laughs> Probably should be replacing these shocks too, but it looks like the shocks got to come out. The caliper's probably going to have to come off, or like Justin was saying, at least do the bottom bolt so it can have a little bit more give in these lines. It's really stiff. But we'll probably just unbolt them completely and zip tie them or bungee cord them back here somewhere. And then we got to get the spring out. Hopefully this, hopefully we don't have to undo this uh, pan hard bar here. We might even have to undo that if we don't get enough out of it with the shocks to get these springs out. I like the instructions. Just jack the car up till it goes up high enough to get the spring out. Okay, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you get it? You want an impact? Can you even get an impact in there? I Probably was not, huh? To get something to, I was going to do the impact on, on the other side. side there. <laughs> you find a stubbier ratchet? <laughs> uh, I can't find anything, honestly. <laughs> Take the bottom bolts out. You got the caliper swinging because there is still e brake cables here. <laughs> See if this lets it down enough to get the spring out. The shock it disconnected. Might. Watch the brake lines though. Yeah, go ahead. You're all right right now. Looks like it's going down a little bit. There you go. The spring looks loose, kind of. Yeah, it's getting there. What about the brake lines? They're getting kind of tight. Got Brake lines are getting tight though. Let me just pop it off real quick. We probably should. Just you let already them, got the size. Let them dangle. No, they're already loose. You got them loose? Yeah, they're already loose. Just take them out. Take the bolts out. Mm -hmm. but I guess we'll just let them chill here. Like, leave them loose on here, you see? Just leave them dangle there because they're holding the rotor on too. supposed to mount the air oh you could probably mount the air thing right here that'd be awesome yeah Drill if you hole. if you want to go in your wheel well every time to air it up no i'm talking about right on the outside here like oh in, in the, the, in the right rubber the edge hell yeah dude well the spring's loose but i don't know man i think we're gonna take these calipers off i don't know i don't think we're getting much more out of it Let's go. there it goes driving. now that now the pitman arm or the uh track bar is holding it now yeah, but it should be able to go down lower. You're going to be able to get that out? No, not really. Oh, no. I'm off of it. Yeah, it's coming there out. There you go. All right, cool. All right. Oh, was I supposed to mark that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, should I just mark it now? There, any, there you go. Put it back in there. Yeah, let's find a marker. We'll mark them. You should be able to get it out. There you go. Hey. Oh, uh, you got to drill that hole a yeah, little bigger. Yeah, yep. And you got to drill a hole in the metal so the hose comes out. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's what the rubber grommets are here oh, for. right here, this thing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right here, these rubber grommets. Yeah. 
Easy. <laughs> there you go. And then what? This separates? Yeah, that you gotta rip out. And then that gets that you gotta up. drill to half inch. Yep. Right. We're, use the big bit though, don't use the step right. bit. Put everything. <laughs> Here's the step I bit. <laughs> All right, now now you got to cram this spring in there again. The airbag? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I fold, fold it over like you did the other one. The back, remember? There you go. I think it was just like this. Something like that. <laughs> there it goes. Pop! Alright. Now we gotta put the hose on it and get the clamp on there. I'll let you do that part. Yeah, but you gotta feed it through the hose. I just put it on there and hit it. That's what I did. Just hit it. There you go. Now you got to figure out. You know what I mean? You can see the, the foam where it so ended. They, yeah, there you go. All right. So All right. Just slide it in, right? Yeah. Oh, you we got to we gotta do the hose. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Here's a little, little trick. We got a, an awl. We go through the one hole. Actually, this grommet's not on there all the way. Let me... Oh, and that grommet's acting up. Is it in there all the way? I don't know if it's acting up a little bit, but maybe we can. Where's that? There it is. Push that hose on there. You got it? Yeah. All right. Follow me up. There it goes. All right. That was easy. <laughs> There's a little trick. Come on. There you go. Boing! Alright, so I gotta line up that All right. mark. Yeah, and then we'll jack the rear up, put the shocks back on, it'll hold it. in there. Airline's hooked up. Got the Schraders back here in the bumper. Individual one for each side. Alright, they're in there. Got a little sh shot of air in them. Well, this one we got to redo, Justin, because you weren't holding it up all the way. Huh? This one you weren't holding up all the way. We got to let the air out and put it back in there. Get a little bit of space, but we'll do that real quick. All right, pushed up in there. Make sure if you do this, you push them all the way up when you're on the left. That way you don't kink your air hose or something stupid. All right, now he's ready to go tow a trailer. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll get the truck in here and change the oil. Uh oh. Don't collapse. <laughs> that old power steering pump when it was leaking sure coated this side, huh? Oh well, at least maybe it'll keep it from rusting. 
Probably won't though, considering it's already completely rusted. Well, we'll get the oil changed in this old, old girl. Looks like our, oh, I do have a Speedo sensor I still need to change. I think it's in the truck. Top, uh, top thing is leaking a little bit, the boot up there. I put a hose clamp on it, but it seems like it's still slinging out of there a little bit, but we'll get this oil drained and get this filter changed out. Local stray. I don't have no food today, baby. I didn't bring you none. It looks like you're getting fed all right. <laughs> well, we got the oil put in there. And, uh, dug around the back of the truck and I found my speedometer. Whatever you call it. I actually have a brand new one in there that uh, my buddy bought but it didn't come with the plastic teeth. You're supposed to take the teeth off the other one, but my stock one seized up and sheared the teeth off, so I had to order this one. It actually has a gear on it. So hopefully I can get my speedometer working again. That'll be sweet. That thing's right here on this transmission with this one 10 millimeter bolt and this clip, this plug. So I'll get that swapped out. Hopefully that'll fix it. I guess we'll see when we, uh, when we get out of here, go for a test drive. Well, speedometer's working, so that's cool. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment. At least we got the speedometer back, even though it's, I'm pretty sure it's off because the tires are bigger on here. But we'll see you on the next one.